So next part will be quite simple because we already made something to do the uh, to set the thickness. So maybe you want to call this thickness. We just copy and paste this, and we are. Let's create, make this a little bit bigger. So, yeah, we have our curves here, which are being animated and then being polywired. So we want to branch off here and create them some thickness. So let's plug this in. And we need to go in there and this needs to be called curve view like that. Because of course, remember, we just I just showed you the example with the curve view two with the UVs, but just in general, we need it to just to be called curve view because that's what the resample is creating. Again, I could call this cheese as well, and then I could just call it cheese in all of the other things, and then it would still work. Oh, we're not gonna do that for now. So this will export a attribute called P scale, and then we can do a polywire. Plug it in there, type at P scale. Now it looks a little bit weird. Let's add a normal. So a normal will add vertex normals. So those are the green normals, which will be on here. So vertex normals. And of course, like as I initially said, with vertices, there's a little bit more, uh, well, more information for like shading and stuff. That's why you put UVs and you put uh, uh, stuff like that. The uh, so you can see, of course, for every point, we have four vertices. So shading normals generally use that. Anyway, so on polywire, let's up the divisions. And now we have nice little tentacles. So let's already merge some of this stuff in. So we just can see what we're doing down here. So let's put these. So let's merge our base in. Let's merge those thing, that thing in and let's merge the tentacles in. So you can see the top part will act very weirdly. That's because that thing doesn't have normals. So let's put normals. And again, we also and the other thing here as well. Also need normals. So the tentacles probably need to be a little bit less thick. And the tentacle things there probably need to be a little bit thicker. And maybe I need to change the carve. So they're spread out a little bit more like that. So I think maybe, maybe add some more points there. Looking pretty okay so far. So, I mean, we don't have the detail or the movement on the head part yet. So, we'll do that later once we start doing the eyes. But let's focus on the. So, if we go to the right part. So, let's start making these things. So, this will actually be a little bit more mathematical. So, uh, yeah, let's let's dive into there. So let's go over here and there will be a, uh, ah, by the way, I see that I gen I did it a little bit differently. I didn't use the polywire in the original thing here because I used the sweep and that's because I initially thought I needed UVs, but I don't really need UVs. So with the polywire, you can't really get proper UVs. So I can show you that. So it's not really that great UVs, but it's better than what we get with the uh, with the polywires. Or if we go over here, you can see this will get a UV per per face. So this might look better, but it's not really. So anyway, so that's what I meant with the uh, having. So if you UV project on the um, okay, so 
just to cover that. So I'm UV projecting on this, this, this curve, or on this uh, circle. So UV quick shade. It's too small, so I don't really even see anything. And then I have UVs on my curve, I think. Yeah, you have UVs here. So that's with the UV texture that you that I showed before. And then when you sweep, it will create UVs. So now I have this thing. I think sweeping might be a little bit faster. But uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just keep it like this. You can download the file anyway. You can look through the uh, through how I did it in the other thing. So let's uh, branch off from here and let's start creating the knobs. So I guess let's make a null. Let's see where we plug it in, plug it in. Let's just plug it into the, uh, I think we put it into the thickness here, like that, and call it, I guess, in, oh, I'm deleting the whole thing in underscore knobs like that all right now we're going to start creating our knobs here.